G'day, it's Hollywood here. Haven't done an update for a while, so I thought I'd do an update. So I went racing at Warwick. Um, we did the Two Street um, uh, private track day at Warwick, and it was awesome. Fantastic weekend. I'm going to be doing it again next year. Um, yeah, I think there was about kind of 65, 70 cars that raced, and um, yeah, it was the weather was great. Um, had heaps of racing. Um, uh, some of my mates did like over 20 passes, and um, yeah, the track was awesome, hook, hooking up well. So, yeah, it was a really, really great weekend, and highly recommend it. Yeah, so anyway, the, the update is uh, I did, I actually only did three passes uh, that weekend. Um, first pass, um, yeah, did a decent burnout. Um, not as though you need to do a very good, you, know, you don't need to do a big burnout on the PS, with the PSR tires. Um, but anyway, I, I just love doing burnouts, so <laughs> like everybody else. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it, 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 I planted it, hooked up, you know, went, lifted up, went straight. It was, you know, fantastic. Uh, but then I got to, I think it was about, oh, down the track, I went from first to second. And as soon as I hit about 4,000 RPM, I heard this big rattling noise underneath the car. I thought it was something broken, steering, or something was broken underneath the car. Um, yeah, so I'm like, what the hell is that? And I, you know, so I, I kind of held it on a bit, which probably shouldn't have, and then went into the next gear and held it on there, and you know, more rattling and stuff. And I'm like, oh shit. Um, and then I slowed down, drove it around the return road, and no noises at all. I was driving over bumps and thinking, you know, what the hell is it? And there was no noise at all. Um, so I'm like, anyway, I took it back to our campsite, jacked it up, I looked underneath the car everywhere, couldn't see anything that was hitting. I thought maybe the headers might have been hitting somewhere or something, you know, like some kind of steering component or something, or something was kind of hitting maybe the tail shaft hitting on the on the on the ring the secure the um yeah the ring that kind of holds the tail shaft in and uh yeah um nothing so my like, righto um i don't know i'll just thought, stop it i'll go give another run so gave another run hit it hard left hard so that's a good thing like this thing actually hooks up um you know i've got 30 year old bloody shockies on it and yeah, they're all, you know, pretty crappy and, and uh, you know, I was going to put some new shocks on it, but then um, my mate Darren, who built the engine for me, he's like, well, why spend money if you don't need to? We'll just go out and run it and see what it does. And he was right, done, I don't need to spend any more money on it. Um, goes, goes, hooks up, goes straight. So, yes, I hit another run. Same thing, you know, first, second, I did the first, second, third, and burnout. Um, high revs, not a problem. But as soon as you like, put it under load, and the car lifts up, whatever, and put it under load. Um, yeah, it just done the same thing. Pinged, you know, second and third gears. Oh, what the hell's going on? And I took it back to the campsite. Had another look over it. I was talking to Darren and another couple of mates and. And realized it was it was pinging like the engine was pinging so uh, I don't know if it I'm not sure what it is whether it's dirty fuel or whether it's the altitude or the tune or whatever but um, we're gonna put it back on the dyno but yeah I'm like I was kind of at that point I'm like well it must be pinging because there's nothing else broken like what the hell we pulled the plugs out had a look and they're fine um, even I thought you know maybe the dirty fuel so I pulled the, um, oh, borrowed some fuel off me, mate, John Peter Johnson, which is awesome. Thanks, mate. Um, filled up with BP fuel, which I normally fill my cars up with BP. Um, I always fill them, fill them, like normally like my charger and all my other cars, I always use BP. Uh, a lot of mates say to do that. So um, it's normally the best one. And uh, yeah, filled it up with BP. Put some octane booster in it thinking oh you know maybe that 
maybe it was just dirty fuel. And before I took it back out in the track, I went out at the front of Warwick and gave it a hit, like redlined at every gear. Um, no breaking down, nothing, like it was fine. No pinging, went awesome. Which it normally does, like on Lakeside, it goes awesome, like on the street, it's fine, like it's never, it's never pinged, only that three times, well, that, that was twice on the track at that point. And so I drove it straight around, you know, back into Warwick, drove it straight on the track, threw my helmet on, same thing, decent burnout, no pinging, you know, uh, took off and then pinging again. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, yeah, it must be a tune, um, or something's going on, but um, maybe the injectors or tune or something. Uh, the fuel pump, uh, I thought maybe it was a fuel pump, but Darren sent me the fuel pump and it all looks like it's, you know, it can handle the horsepower and so, yeah, so we'll put it back on, I'm gonna be putting it back on the dyno, um, you know, a few weeks and we'll see if we can find the problem. Hopefully we find the problem and uh, yeah that'll be it but yeah unfortunately i could only get three runs out of it um so yeah i was a little bit disappointed with that but what do you do i'm not going to go blow my engine you know it's a brand new engine um new build and yeah i'm not going to do that so yeah hopefully we we get on the dyno and sort it out but you know in saying that um i did three runs and i think i'm like i ran seven fours in each on each one but that was with the car breaking down. Like it was pinging its head off and it lost power. It was losing power. So I think 7.4 is probably not too bad. I mean, I was expecting 7.0 or 7.1 or something like that, which is kind of equivalent. I think 7.0 is equivalent to a 10 second pass. But I, Warwick is a slower track than Willowbank, so I'm told. Well, I always used to run 0.1 of a second slower at Warwick than what I did at Willowbank when I was racing my Charger, which I did a lot of. I did like 300 passes in my Charger, uh, Warwick and uh, Willowbank. So yeah, it was pretty consistently 0.1 of a second slower at Warwick. I think that's altitude or some other, I don't know, some other reason. But um, yeah, so so I think, you know, even if I ran a 7.1, um, maybe that's equivalent to a 10 second pass. But 7.4 is way off. But in saying that, the car went straight, um, it it was you know breaking down and it was losing power so there's no way i was going to run, run a decent number um, so I, I still think it, it went pretty good like um i'm pretty happy with it so and it does run good out at lakeside like i'm i've been running some cars that run 10 second quarters and it's keeping up with them uh, at lakeside so i reckon it you know i reckon it's got a 10 in it but um yeah you know what you never can say it it's a 10 second car until you run a 10 second because you know there's a lot of variables um but um yeah but you know i ran it all the way out to um you know drove it all the way out to warwick which you know it's from my house is two and a half hours um so yeah um it's a bit of a hike but it's such a nice car to drive like i know everybody bags me for having an ls but um yeah, it's a, it's just turnkey cruises. I actually did from Warwick to here, which is in Scarborough. I did two and a half hours, and it was like three quarters of a tank. So it's pretty bloody good, I think. Um, yeah, and I think by the time Saturday night come around, they were giving out awards for different classes. I wasn't really expecting anything, but um, obviously I only had three runs, but. Uh, I think I was the last person, yeah, I was the last person there that drove out and was going to drive home. So um, everybody else kind of trailed it out. Uh, there was a few people that did drive out and drive home, but they went home on the on the Saturday afternoon, whereas I stayed, uh, camped there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, thanks to, you know, the, the boys at True Street, Shane, the boys, they gave me this. I think this was... Um, this was meant to be True Street forced induction class, but everybody left. Or I th actually, I don't think anybody entered it. So it was a class that nobody entered, which they won't have next year. Um, but I think the boys just kind of gave up, like like create created, um, 
you know, they had an extra trophy, so they wanted to give it to somebody, not necessarily me, but somebody that drove out there and drove back, and yeah. So that that happened to be me. Um, yeah, which is drive back, awesome. So yeah, it's such a good car to drive. I really love it. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, it was a good it was a good weekend all in all. About a thousand beers. Um, so yeah, the drive home on Sunday morning was uh, pretty rough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got home, so it's all good. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to putting it on the dyno and sorting it out. See, hopefully we can find the problem. Um, as long as it plays up on the dyno, hopefully we can load it up enough where it'll actually play up. Because um, I really want to sort it out. I don't want to go racing again um, and you know that thing happen again and it's like, oh well, you know, it's kind of a waste of time, a waste of money, you know, racing. Um, and I particularly don't want to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the car go going out to Mopar Sunday, and all my mates they give me shit about having a LS in a in a Mopar, um, laying shit on me because you know oh, I can't I can't get my car to run down the street uh, down the track, or you know it'd be pretty slow anyway. So yeah, don't want that. So I've got to sort this thing out, but hopefully I sort it out in the next few weeks, and uh, yeah, we'll do a bit of racing and. I want to try and get that 10 second pass. Hopefully, uh, yeah, Willow Bank opens up soon. Mopar Sunday is July, uh, July the, I think it's 20, 28th or something like that. So that's the main aim. Try and get this thing running down Mopar Sunday this year. Um, yeah, and see if I can run that 10 second pass. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's hooking, it's going straight. It's hooking in when you, when you take off, so don't have any problem with that. Uh, I, I also, yeah, I I meant to test out the tram brake, and I went to I went around when I first got there. I went around to do a, to do the um, tech inspection, and I had the tram brake hooked up to I put a new button on it, and the back of it just unclips. And anyway, I connected it too early, and I went around a really kind of a big U turn, and it snapped the back of the button off, and then blew blew a fuse. So I'm like, ah, oh, man. So yeah, can't, um, couldn't test the, the tram brake out either. So I got a, oh, and I got home and I went to fix it and the tram brake had shorted out too. So that, that wouldn't, that button wouldn't cause it because it went through a relay. So there's no way um, the tram brake would have shorted out because of that. But yeah, I don't know, just coincidence, I suppose. So I've ordered a new tram brake. That'll be, the new tram brake solenoid so that'll come that'll be coming soon any day now and i'll put a new one of those in and my bus sunday hopefully i can test out the tram brake too which would be pretty cool because i've i've never actually used a tram brake before on any car so we'll see if it lifts the front wheel or not i don't know hopefully <laughs> anyway um yeah just a quick update don't really have much else to talk about i haven't done anything more to the car um it's pretty sorted I, I like the way it is at the moment. Um, yeah, obviously there'll be some more changes coming up, but at this point, I just need to sort out the tune and, and make sure it doesn't ping, so I can, so I can basically uh, hit it. Just, just kind of keep it on the limiter. Anyway, thanks very much, and um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and do all the all that cool stuff. Uh, appreciate the views, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.